Okay, so now we have it two little handles, three compartments, plus an outside, two outside large pockets, two outside smaller pockets. Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sew With Me. If you're new here, my name is Melissa. I am a thrifter, a homemaker, and a DIYer of most things wood and fabric. All right, so here is the tote we're gonna make today. I am going to put up a cut list on the screen. You can either um, take a screenshot of it, pause your screen, or you can just get the um, pattern pieces from the description. I will make sure to post the, the pattern piece, pieces in the description of this video. So either way or what would work fine. All right, so now we're just gonna get started cutting this fabric. You're gonna notice that there's um, two different fabrics in this video because the first bag I made, my iPhone videos quit recording because I apparently ran out of storage. So I'm sure that's happened to other people, but that is what's happened. So I went ahead and cut the pieces again out of a different fabric and I'm going to show you how to sew together the exterior of this bag. All right, so here's the exterior pockets for the um, the short ends. They are cut um, six by nine or six by eight so that you can fold them over and make um, a nice little exterior pocket. So I'll set those aside and we will do the next cutting. Okay, so this will be the pockets for the sides, the long sides. They're nine by eight, so you fold them over so that they are nine by four. And then I will take those to the machine and do a top stitch on all the pockets before I attach them in the bag. So this is my piece for the handles. I'm just making sure it's six inches wide. And um, it's longer than I need, so I'll go ahead and cut it into three inch strips and then cut it down to the seven inches I need. And this will be my two handles. So instead of using a big strip of my nice fabric, I'm just gonna make my end pieces out of some more natural canvas. These end pieces are six by six, so I'm just cutting them accordingly here. So for the interior pouches, I'm just using a plain natural canvas, and I'm gonna cut six squares, seven and a half by seven and a half, and uh, I'm just stacking it so it takes a little bit extra to cut. So right here I have two of the pouches for the interior out of the natural canvas. So I'm just going to sew around the perimeter of three sides and I'm going to um, lock my stitch at the top.
Okay, so right here I am nesting the seams. So my seam allowance is going to the left on the bottom, to the right on the side, and my side seam and my center seam are matching up. And I am going to pin it so I can go mark a two inch line across both sides. Actually, I am going to mark a two and a half inch line. This won't show, so I'm just using a regular ink pen. And I'll go over here. My um, ruler has this nice 45 degree line on it. So I match that up with the side seam down here. And then I get two and a half here and I just draw my line. Hopefully you can see that okay. but. So now I'm just going to stitch this out and I will take my pin out. There's one. And there's two. So now, technically, this will sit on its own just like that. Well, not that you want it to, but you see what I mean? It's got its the squared off bottom, so. Okay, the next thing is after you sew three of these interior pouches, I try to flatten this side seam out with my fingers. And then I'm just gonna fold it down towards the outside about one inch like this. I start with the side seams first. So just flatten that out, straighten it out. Go down an inch, pin it or clip it, whatever you have, and then the rest will pretty much follow. So now you have the interior compartments and you're going to make three of these. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one. Okay, so here are the three separate pouches we've made and all the tops are folded down an inch. I'm gonna take each one and I'm gonna put the side seams on the sides and I'm gonna mark off four inches in the center of two bags right here and stitch that together. And then I'll take this third one and I'll add it to this one. And I will also stitch this one with four inches. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky here, but we're just gonna get in there and stitch to the best of our ability a four inch seam centering it as good as we can it's it looks a little tricky to get up in there but it's it's really not that a little bad. tricky to get up in there so just take in some where? time move all your little clips around and um stitch i did like an eighth inch stitch and uh, locked it on both sides so you're going to end up doing um two right two of these to hook three together <laughs> oh, okay Let's just get this done. Okay, so now you can see the stitching right here. So we're just gonna do that one more time on this area. Again, just uh, take your time, take the pins out as you go. It's not really hard to get in here, it's just a lot to move around. So I have all my pieces together. Okay, so first things first, here are my short side panels. Now when I cut them, I cut them out of a regular canvas, but I decided to cut them out of the same fabric. And then I have my three pieces, two sides, one bottom and my four outside pockets in my two handle pieces. So I'm gonna start with 
my pockets because I like to do a top stitch on them before I put them on the fabric. You do not have to do this, but I like to do it. So let's just do a, a nice top stitch here. You don't need to back stitch, back stitch the top. Okay, so there's one. I'm going to change my tension a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna top stitch this one. have my two top stitches on. Just gonna cut off that extra thread. Don't need that in my way later. Okay, so there's my two small pockets top stitched. Now I will top stitch. Which side do I want? I think I want that side to show. side show. Okay, so there's my four pockets, all top stitched. Take our two smaller end pieces and line up our small pocket with the bottom and the sides and give it a pin in the middle just to keep it there while we sew. And then here's our other pocket. We're gonna put it on this one, I think like this. Like that, we'll do that. So line up the bottom and the sides and pin it. And this one is going to get my sew-in label. If you have a sew-in label, this is where you would wanna add it. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so those pockets are ready. Now I'm just going to, I'm gonna take the bottom piece, figure out which one is the bottom, and I'm gonna set that aside so I don't use it if I'm not ready for it. Now I'm just going to add my long pockets to the long side pieces. Same as the small ones and just give it a pin to hold it together. And we'll do the same on this one. Line up the bottom and the sides. And pin, okay. So to assemble, we're gonna assemble these three to each other and then we're gonna assemble this side and the bottom to each other. So that being said, I'm gonna take these two right sides together and I am going to line it up. And since we have the pocket in there, we wanna line up our pocket line if at all possible, cause that will show. And then we'll just add another pin and then we'll come to this side and Right sides together and line up our pocket. One other thing that I highly recommend is, we're, right now we're stitching down the two sides. So we're gonna stitch down from the top and I wanna stop a quarter inch up from the bottom because this will help me when I go to put all the pieces together. So this one I'm gonna stitch down and I wanna stop a quarter inch up from the bottom of this one. So this is just more of a marking pin than anything else. So let's go ahead and stitch. And we're gonna to um, lock stitch the, the starting seam we don't want it to come apart while we're working on the bag. Let's just make sure our tag is still fine. I think our tag is on the other side. Okay. We're gonna sew all the way down to the pin and then go back up 
and lock that in. That side is done. And now we're gonna do the same over here. We're gonna start at the pin. And we're gonna go back down and lock it. And sew it to the top and lock it in. Okay. So now we have these three sides all sewn together. So we're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna sew the other long side with a pocket to the bottom uh, rectangle. So we're gonna pin it in place. And then again, we're gonna start and stop at a quarter inch from the edge. So I'm just gonna mark it with a pin so I don't forget and so I can see it visually when I get there. Okay, so we're going to start right here. Okay, so now let's check out what we got. Okay, this one's all sewn together in a piece. So now we're going to attach this bottom to the bottom of this one. So we're gonna lay it on there and it's, you gotta kinda tell which way is easiest for you, which way makes more sense when it comes to which side you want up. I'm gonna have this side up and make sure you center your piece. Normally I do this on a bigger table so I have a little bit more room. But for our video's sake, I'm doing it here so I can show you better. So there we go. Now we don't need to mark a quarter inch in on this because it's already, we're already gonna start and stop where the threads meet. Now it sometimes is a little tricky to start back here because your presser foot gets too high up. So I just start in and is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and go the other way next, I'll show you. So I'm gonna lock that in. Stitch across the bottom, all the way and just until we get to the other seam that we already made and lock that in. So now we're going to just flip this over. We've already sewn that corner really well. So now we're gonna sew this corner well. We're gonna go all the way to where the other stitch is and lock it in. Okay, so now it's really uh, beginning to come together. So this pin can come out. So now we're gonna attach the sides, these sides to this um, other side panel. And we're gonna line up our pockets just like we did before, right? And we'll clip this. We don't need to mark it at a quarter inch either because we're gonna stop where we already stitched. Just make sure you have your pocket in here when you go to pin. Make sure you don't forget and not get the pocket. And then, you know, make sure it lines up. Okay, make sure it's flattened down inside. My pin for this one came out, so I'm just gonna repin it so it's staying like I want it. Okay, we're just gonna line this up, line our pocket. Line up the corners, line up the edge, and pin. Okay, so there we have it. I'm gonna start at the top of the bag and lock in my stitch. And sew all the way down, just until you get to the other stitch. And we're gonna do this one. We're gonna start at the top, lock it in, and sew all the way down till you get to the other stitch. Okay, 
Okay, so now we can pull these extra pins out of the inside, just so we don't forget later and hurt ourselves. Now we just have the bottom two ends to, to sew together, and this is it. So whichever direction works good for you, go ahead and take it, line it up. And I technically don't even need to pin it for me because it's all going to stick together. Now I'm not going to be able to start back here because it's way too thick for my presser foot. So I'm just going to start in a, an inch or inch and a half and I'm going to lock it and I'm going to sew all the way to where the other seam is and lock that and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to start about the same spot I started before and lock it and sew all the way to this corner just where the other seam is again. So you're not stitching over the other seams. We have one more to go. And again, we'll start in about an inch, inch and a half. Lock it in. Line up your, your fabrics. And I'm going to sew all the way to the quarter inch where the other seam is. And lock it in. And then we'll flip it over and we will sew the last straight area. And lock it in. Okay, so before we flip it over, let's just take the very points of these bags off, very points of the corners. Less is more, don't take too much and cut a seam. What we're doing is gonna help a lot. So even though it feels like you're not taking very much off, you really are. Okay, so let's turn it around and see what we have. Poke your corners out as um, nice and as gentle at the same time as you can. Okay, and there we have it. We have the outside part of our bag. So next thing we're gonna do is we are going to fold the, the top edge in one inch. So I go to each of the four corners, straighten out the hem or the seam allowance, and pin it down one inch. So now that you've done all the four corners, now you can go and straighten out the edges and add some more pins. But now you can see, you can check your dimension and see if it's if it looks like you got the right, if you got it in about an inch. You don't want to have it more. You don't really want to have it less. You want to have it as close to an inch as you can. So now is when you fine tune that. Just add some more clips. This way we will be all ready when we drop in the center pouches that we made. Okay, look at that. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna take my two handles, which are three by seven inches. I am going to give them a center press with my fingers, just enough to leave a mark. And then I want to fold in both edges towards the center to the best of my ability and then fold that over on itself and give it a few pins okay so then you take it to your machine and we're just going to do a top stitch on the open edge and then back up the other side. You do not have to go back up the other side, but I prefer to. And you do not need to lock this in. There will be no pulling on the seam, so it'll be just fine. Just like that, we have one of two handles. So let's do it again. 
press it for center, fold in the outside edges to the middle. And this is a good thing to know. This is how you, you will make straps for almost any and every bag. This is a great way to make straps. There's other ways. I like this, where you don't have to turn the fabric in a tube. So this is how I make a lot of my handles. I'm just gonna top stitch along the open edge first again. And just like that, the second handle is done. All right, so now we have our complete exterior and our two side handles. All right, so now that we've made the exterior, the handles, and the interior uh, pouches, we are just gonna place this whole unit right into the outer unit and adjust accordingly. And just try to, try to pull on the outside edges first and pull it together and then just clip it. Okay, so now we're going to um, insert the two handles on either side. Just trying to figure out which direction I want facing up. Center them on the end panel. Put them down in between the two layers, approximately half of an inch. As long as you have enough in there to sew over and you make them both the same, you'll be just fine. And just repeat this process on the other end. Well now apparently the animal fight is over and their best friends cuddling on the same rug. So, that's nice. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. All right guys, I have sewn the three inner compartments together and I want you to know when I went to fit my three pouches in the middle, I had too much outside perimeter. So what I did is I went and I, I took my four corners in about another quarter of an inch and now it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew the round the outside and I'm gonna stop and start at this point here and then I'm going to go to this side and I'm going to top stitch around this side and I'm going to start and stop on this end and then I will come back in and I will just sew the center part. All right let's get my machine set up. So this gets a little bit tricky to get up in here but it's definitely doable. So that is where I want to start. Now there's a lot of layers going on right here, so so slow. So slow. And it should be just fine. Hopefully you have a newer needle on. Okay, and just pull the bag as you go. So we have one end sewn on, and that wasn't bad at all. Now we're gonna go sew this end on, and then we'll sew the sides onto the center piece, to the center compartment in the interior.
Now the second end is sewn on. Now we're gonna sew on these straight sides. Straight compared to what we just sewed on before. <laughs> One more. All right, that is it. We're going to trim some of these little threads. Okay, easier said than done. Wow, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now we have it two little handles, three compartments, plus an outside, two outside large pockets, two outside smaller pockets. You can use this to organize your purse. If you have a big purse that just has a big uh, center pocket in it. You can drop this in. You can put your cell phone and chapstick and other de other devices, other other things in there, or in a book bag or a diaper bag. Or you can use this next to your living room chair for remote controls or next to your bed. I mean, the options are endless. You can use it in so many different places. It's very versatile, and it was very easy to make. And it really didn't take much of any fabric. So that's it. Thank you guys for joining. I'll see you all next week. Have a great morning, day, night, whatever day it is. Um, all right. See you later. Bye-bye.